how to install the infrared sensor on your Gasco eBox or eStudio Fire. Your Fire uses an infrared sensor to communicate with your remote control handset. This video will show you the recommended method of positioning the sensor on all eBox and eStudio Fires so you can start to enjoy the full functions of your Gasco remote control. It should be watched and used in conjunction with the full installation and user manual, which you can download from the technical area of the Gasco website. Before you begin, it is important to ensure that your fire is cold. There are different steps to install your sensor, depending on your choice of front or frame. We will cover all of these methods throughout this video. For all models, however, you need to start by locating and gently pulling out the sensor. You will find it located above the touchpad at the front of your fire as shown. It is attached to a wire loom that has been coiled loosely for ease of movement. For Gasco eBox or eStudio fires with either an Arts, Dimension 2, Evolution, Progress, Richmond, Spanish, Stockton Inset, Tempo, or Winchester Front, please follow these steps. Firstly, the sensor kit comes with a standard holding bracket to attach it to the hearth. In addition, as shown, there is a double-sided adhesive pad to affix the sensor to the bracket. If you are missing any parts, please contact your Gasco retailer. Carefully cut the pad in half to fit and peel off the cover on one side before applying it to the back of the bracket. Peel off the other side of the adhesive pad and then feed the sensor through the hole in the bracket and affix it to the pad. The sensor will now be secured to the bracket. On the conventional flu model, the position of the bracket and sensor can be determined by placing them flush against the tab that can be found on the bottom right of the appliance casing. Secure the bracket and sensor to the half with the remaining piece of adhesive pad as shown. For balanced flue models, the position of the bracket and sensor can be determined by measuring 150 mm in from the right-hand side of the appliance casing. It is best to use a ruler to ensure you get the correct measurement. Again, secure the bracket to the hearth using the other piece of adhesive pad. For Holyrood models with either a conventional or balanced flue fire, affix the sensor to the bracket as shown previously. But when locating the position for the sensor and bracket, you will need to measure 150 mm in from the right hand side of the appliance casing and then 40 mm forward to determine the correct position for the front of your sensor. As before, use the other piece of the self-adhesive pad to secure the sensor and bracket to the hearth. The sensor for a Dizinio model with either a balanced or conventional flue fire should be affixed to the door of the frame. To do this, you will need to use the mounting bracket two clips, two screws, a double-sided adhesive pad which has been cut in half to fit the bracket and the self-adhesive cable clip. To assemble the bracket, peel back one side of the double-sided adhesive pad and affix it to the bracket as shown. Using the two screws, attach the clips that will hold the bracket to the frame. Take care not to tighten the screws at this stage. Peel back the other side of the double-sided adhesive pad and secure the sensor to the bracket. Hold the bracket in place and make sure that the sensor is centralized in the gap on the door. Fasten the clips to the folded lip of the back of the door. Give the clips a quarter turn to fully locate on the lip and secure by tightening the screws. 
Attach the self-adhesive cable clip to the door of your fire as shown and then clip in the sensor's cable. It is essential to check that the cable is free of the door before you close it. You may need to tidy the cable by tucking it in neatly. When you have closed the door of your fire, you should be able to see the infrared sensor eye through it. For fusion models with either a conventional or balanced flue fire, the sensor will again need to be positioned on the door of the frame. To do this, you will need the bracket, a spring clip, a double-sided adhesive pad and a self-adhesive cable clip. All these parts should be supplied with your fire. To begin, cut the double-sided adhesive pad in two, peel back the cover on one half and affix it to the bracket. Next, secure the sensor to the bracket by peeling back the cover on the other side of the adhesive pad. Making sure that the infrared eye is facing out, place the bracket in the back left-hand corner of the inside of the door as shown. Using the spring clip provided, secure the bracket to the inside of the door. You may need to tap the clip gently into place. It is very important that the infrared sensor eye lines up with the decorative hole cut in the door as this will enable your sensor to connect with your remote control. Take the self-adhesive cable clip and secure it to the inside of the door as shown, making sure that the clip does not cover any of the decorative holes. Again, make sure that the sensor cable is secured to this clip. Tidy any excess cable neatly before closing the door of your fusion frame. To locate the Futura sensor position for either a conventional or balanced flue model, please follow these steps. The Futura sensor should be attached to a holding bracket that forms part of the subframe. To do this, you will need the holding bracket, a clip, a screw, and a double-sided adhesive pad which should be supplied with your fire. Firstly, undo the top screw of the subframe as shown and put it to one side with the other parts. Secondly, using the smaller screw, loosely secure the clip to the bracket as shown. Then cut the double-sided adhesive pad in half to fit the holding bracket and peel back the cover on one side. Stick it to the holding bracket as shown. Next, secure the holding bracket to the subframe of your fire using the two screws. You can now affix the sensor to the holding bracket by peeling back the cover on the other side of the adhesive pad and sticking it on. Once the sensor has been fixed into place, you are now ready to close the door and use your fire. For an e-studio fire with a steel frame, the sensor is affixed to the inside of the frame's door. To begin, locate the sensor next to the touchpad and pull it out a little way. You will need the double-sided adhesive pad and two self-adhesive cable clips provided with your fire. Cut the double-sided adhesive pad to fit and then remove the cover on one side and stick it to the sensor. Gently pull the sensor out fully and line it up with the tab cut out in the bottom of the door as shown. Peel back the cover on the other side of the adhesive pad and secure it to the door. You will now be ready to stick one of the self-adhesive cable clips to the inside of the door. Peel back the cover and secure the clip above the sensor eye as shown. The sensor cable should be secured into it.
The second cable clip can now be affixed to the subframe of your fire as shown. This will enable you to secure the rest of the sensor cable neatly to the door by clipping it into place. Lastly, safely tuck any remaining cable away to ensure it is not trapped in the door when you close it. Once you have closed the door, you should be able to see the sensor at the bottom of the frame. It will be on the lower left-hand side as shown. This video has shown you how to install the infrared sensor to your Gasco eBox or eStudio Fire. But please remember that you should always use this information in conjunction with your installation and user manual.